Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today What I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Stevenage vlog Now if you do go on to enjoy today's video Please make sure to drop a like on there for me If you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video That would be massively appreciated Subscribe if you are new as well We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers So please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already With that post notification bell on It's free to do so and it does massively help out Get your thoughts on today's game as well Down in the comment section down below Now despite Bradford City having a very good record against Stevenage over the past couple of years. Their manager Steve Evans, we don't have a great record against Steve Evans. He was obviously heavily linked with the Bradford City job before Mark Hughes took over as boss Stevenage had a great start to the season. I think they currently sat second in the table, only lost one game and it was away to Salford. So it's going to be a very tough game today. We probably will lose just because it's Steve Evans. I'm going to, my prediction is going to be 1-0 Stevenage. I would love to see us get a win today. But if we do win today, then I'll start getting very confident about the season. A game on Tuesday night like what it was against Tranmere. That is the sort of game where in the previous couple of seasons we would have lost. So this on paper is a game in the previous couple of seasons we will definitely lose, obviously, because it's against Steve Evans. So if we win today, I'll start getting very excited about the season. But make sure you drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you are new as well, and I shall see you all once team news is out. I mean, there might not be three figures there for the Steve fans. It's an awful turnout. Fair play to those who have travelled, but that is an awful turnout. Come on, City. Stop Andy Cook, he is too good. What a header. Thank you. 
hardest game of the season so far in terms of a physical battle and we've come out with it with our biggest home win since the last time we played Stevenage at home last season where we beat them 4-1. Fantastic 3-0 win today, it was a different type of Bradford City performance but I thought on the whole everybody was really really good today, everything that Stevenage threw at us we dealt with it very very well, Matty Platt absolutely unbelievable winning everything in the air, Andy Cook world class again, defensively doing his job but and scoring another two goals, he He's already done 11 goals, 11 goals and it's only September. That man is on fire at the moment. I think he's got eight goals in the league. What a player. Probably need a time down to a new contract because if he keeps scoring at the rate that he is, there's going to be interest in him in January. Apart from Erling Haaland, he's the best finisher in the top four divisions at the moment. He's so, so good. Everything he touches turns to goal. I think today was probably the first chance that he's missed all season where it was a fantastic save from the keeper. But I thought Stevenage, they came and played exactly how we expected them to. Constantly just hammering us with long balls. Every opportunity, the corners, the free kicks, the long throws. You know, it was such a slow game, especially in that first half while it was still 1-0, that the time we're just going so slow because it would constantly stop and start for them just to hammer balls into our box. And we dealt with it very, very well. I can only give as much credit as possible, especially to players like Gilead and Harry Chapman and a couple of the other midfielders as well who had to put in all the hard work to try and close down them from putting the balls into the box when they came in. We won a lot of the first balls. If we didn't win the first balls, we won the second balls as well. We obviously take the lead through Andy Cook. I think it was just before that we scored there. Keeper makes a fantastic save from a Scott Banks header. Then, obviously, we got a corner. Small with the ball in. It's pretty much an identical goal to the goal that we scored against Tramia Rovers on Tuesday. Ball comes in. Andy Cook flicks it on at the near post and then goes, absolutely flying because every time Andy Cook scores he does seem to go absolutely flying and for the rest of that half we didn't really do all too much we had a couple of half chances we had that big chance where we probably should have scored but it's a fantastic save sorry from their keeper half time comes and when I'm just thinking at half time I really don't want the second half to start because it's going to be I was sitting back for 45 minutes, Stephen is absolutely hammering us and they probably nick a goal in the last minute. Thankfully, that didn't happen though. Tyreek Wright breaks down the left-hand side, puts a fantastic ball in across the box. Takes out about three defenders and the goalkeeper. It's an unbelievable ball in. And Andy Cook has an empty net to tap into and he scores his 11th goal of the season. Another brace for the big man as well. Then I think it's five or six minutes later, Wright's in again on the left-hand side. This time he cuts in, shoots on his right foot. Granted, it takes a deflection, but it finds the back of the net. And at that point, I've relaxed a little bit and we've taken home the three points. I knew at that point we were going to win the game. I thought the subs were really impressive when they came on. Songo and Son I thought did a really good job to see the game out. Oliver did well when he came on. Obviously the only slight downfall of today's game was Brad Halliday's red card. When you're 3-0 up there you know, you're very far in the opposition half. I feel like that's just a stupid tackle to go in for. I haven't seen it back and I couldn't really see it at the time. But if he's on a yellow card and he's late into a 50-50, you always are really going to get sent off. Thankfully, we've got an adequate replacement, though, in Luke Hendry. We are also going to miss Tariq right next week through an international call-up. So that's a little bit of a shame. But I've rambled on a little bit for the end of today's video. So hopefully you have enjoyed watching. If you have, make sure you drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video, that'd be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification bell on, it's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts on today's one as well down in the comment section down below. I think we've moved up to fifth in the table, which is fantastic stuff. Thank you very much for watching though. Hold that Steve Evans, and I shall see you all very soon for another video. Peace.